back. We're just starting off at home just because it's quiet and I can kind of explain what we're doing instead of starting off the video screaming with loud noises. We're going to Halloween Horror Nights as you saw and the point is to go and try to get snacks. Bunch of snacks, snack snacks, and obviously watch the amazing water show. Um, we might try to go into one house or two. I made Josh purchase a ticket today so that he would come with me. So that's gonna be fun and exciting. I swear this is gonna become a snack channel because the past like three videos have just been food based. But you know what? I'm not even mad about it. So let's go. So I forgot to plug in my microphone. So these next couple clips will be voiceovered by yours truly. All right, we made it to Horror Nights and uh, we went through our first house. What'd you think of Dead Man's Pier? Did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, the theming was nice. Yeah, if you like theming, I would definitely. Seems like a, a cooler house. One of the best ones. One of the most popular ones, too. Um, so we got our first snack. It's a something horseshoe. I can't think of the name. Hold on. I got this. Uh, burger haunting. Haunted horseshoe. So I'm gonna show that to you now. The bacon looks a little, a little extra crispy. So I think it just has generic burger stuff. Onion, cheese, ketchup, fries. It's an open face burger, so it doesn't have the top bun, so definitely recommend eating with a fork and a knife. We also got this drink. Josh tasted it, and he said it tasted a little bit like licorice, which definitely isn't our fave, but he said it was pretty Pretty good. All right. Hum. Hum. Mm, mm, mm. mm, 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 mm. All right. Now that we have the microphone back and working, did you like it? It's like a burger. It's the, good. The fries have some like spicy seasoning on it, like maybe Cajun. All right, so we got the red velvet cake pop. It has Oreos on the bottom. It has apparently like a kind of tr cream cheese around it and then the red velvet cake inside. So I'm excited. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that's very soft actually. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it cream cheese frosting? Kind of, I guess. It just tastes kind of like buttercream. Good, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it kind of cold? I wasn't expecting it to be cold. Yeah. That's actually really nice. But it does taste kind of cream cheesy. Like, but it's, mm, it's like subtle. I think it's more like a better buttercream. I don't know if it's cream cheesy actually. Maybe it'll actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like now a little it's like bit, the like aftertaste. A hint, yeah. The aftertaste, yeah. But also, it's really nice that it's cold. I wasn't expecting that. I know. And because it's more mushy, beside for the Oreo crumbles, I feel like if it was warm, it would kind of be like. Like, almost like it had just been sitting out. Yeah, only the icing is cold, yeah, but it's good. I like it. I would recommend getting this. It's good. Okay, so we are heading over to the other side of the lake. We're gonna try to catch the show at 8 o'clock. It's currently 7.45. Um, because we don't want to wait till 9 o'clock for the next show because we kind of want to leave by then So let's head over there and see if we can get a spot. Just kidding We're not actually gonna watch the water show because it's blocked off and I asked them and it's not running today I don't know why I didn't ask I didn't want to make I didn't want to like annoy them, but it's not going today, so sad. It's okay, we'll be back, but Josh won't be able to see it. So now we're just gonna head through more scare zones. I want him to see all of them. And then, I don't know, we'll figure it out.
Okay, so we ended up watching the show that's right behind me. It's like on a stage. It's next to Men in Black. And it was so good. I was told that it was lame or like not worth watching, but I think it was really, really cool. The tricks were cool. There was a lot of fire. There was like fire tricks. And like, it's a very adult. So if you're coming here with younger kids, I don't know if I would recommend it, but it was really, really, really cool. So if you're coming, I would watch it. It was awesome. Okay, so I bought a shirt and we are now leaving for the night. So I'm gonna show you what shirt I got when I got back, but I finally got a Horror Nights shirt that I've been wanting to get. I'll show you when we get back, but right now we are trying to head out while a bunch of people are still coming in. Okay, so we literally just got home and I wanted to try on the shirt because I wanted to show you, and also I wanted to see if this was a good size in case you're looking for a shirt when you get there, so you can kind of know what size to get. So this is the back. It says Halloween Horror Nights 2022. It even smells like the Universal Store. I mean, that makes sense. And then this is the front. It says, sorry, my dog is drinking water. Every day is Halloween, and it's got like the crow, a witch, a pumpkin, a pumpkin lord, cat skeleton. So I was debating between this one and one that had more bluish. It had the pumpkin lord on that one too and a witch, um, but the just like the uh, design was a little different. I was gonna get the one with all the houses on it because I know that's like what everyone does is they collect the shirts with all the houses on it. But the shirts for this year didn't have two of the houses because one of them was a last minute like decision because I think it was supposed to be a Billie Eilish house. Don't quote me on this. I just these are like what I've heard and like what I think, but um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Bri Billie Eilish house and then something happened and last minute they had to make it into another house. And then the weekend, and don't quote me on this again, I don't know exactly like if this is correct or not, but Universal wasn't willing to pay the weekend enough or the weekend was charging a lot to be put on the merch. So they decided to just leave him off. So basically out of the 10 houses that are usually listed on the back of the shirt in like a cool way, only eight of them are actually on there this year. So I think next year when I go back, I will get the shirt that has all the houses on it. But for now, I, I'm just sticking with this one. I think I should have gotten a large if I wanted to wear it oversized how I was thinking about wearing it because it's a little tight around my bum area, but that's okay. I will just wear it like this. And the, probably the next time I go to Universal Halloween Horror Nights, which is gonna be next week. So I think I'll just wear these shorts with this shirt and then long like longer socks and black shoes and that'll probably be my outfit for next week but also i want to show you i think it's black light reactive so we have leds in our office and they're right now they're like to the color of almost like a black light light let me show you the black light reactivity on this go 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 i don't know if it'll pick it up yeah it is right kind of. yeah i mean oh wait yeah it is yeah like the bottom of the purplish is kind of yeah, the crow, you see the crow on yeah. the neck of the, of the pumpkin. Yeah, top. so I will definitely wear that um, into the tribute store when I wear it next week. I can't wait. But overall, the whole night was really fun. We did one house and food and drinks and a show and the weather was great and I got a t-shirt. So thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked it and make sure to subscribe for more. Have a wonderful week and a magical month and I'll see y'all in the next one.